there will be no loyalty except loyalty to the party. But always there will be the intoxication of power. Always, at every moment, there will be the thrill of victory, the sensation of trampling on an enemy who is helpless. If you want a picture of the future, imagine a boot stamping on a human face. For oh, that we not only fight for Ukraine, we fight for this new world order for the democratic countries. We knew that we are the shield for the Europe, for this new world order. Will be the emergence of a new international order. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. So I see a world order in the future with a multipolar uh, world order. I think a new world order is emerging. And one of the ways it will drive the change is through global governance and global agreements. But in a globalized economy, we are going to have to take global responsibilities. And there going to, is going to have to be some semblance of global government. That in fact, we're all going to have to give up a little bit of our sovereignty in order to make the world work. Already there are powerful forces at work that threaten to destroy all of our hopes and efforts to erect an enduring structure of global cooperation. Are you optimistic a global system can happen it, from what it, we've heard so far. It, it, it could happen, and in fact it's in the work. And for the international order that we have worked for generations to build. Ordinary men and women are too small-minded to govern their own affairs. Ordinary men and women are too small-minded to govern their own affairs. That order and progress can only come when individuals surrender their rights to an all-powerful sovereign. That order and progress can only come when individuals surrender their rights to an all-powerful sovereign. Don't let it happen. It depends on you.